The day has finally come for all you that bought Playboy Cardi or Antagonist tour tickets, because it's not just him, it's pretty much the whole entire Opium label. You are finally getting your money back. So he basically got an interest-free loan. I saw that on Twitter, so I stole that joke. But regardless, he basically had your money hostage, and then finally you're getting it back. I don't think he actually could have processed it because eventually, like, I don't know. If it was me, I would have charged it back on my car within like the first month that it got postponed. But we all knew that this was gonna happen. Like the tour was not going to go on unless he dropped new music. Ken Carson is about to drop what more chaos. Destroy Lonely is about to drop his album Love Last Forever with big features from like mainstream artists with Quavo, Don Tolliver. Cardi's still on the Vultures like rollout for the Vultures 2. He was just on Future and Metro's album. Um they're still rolling that out, I guess, just still slowly accumulating more and more monthly listeners for his Spotify so that when he does drop, he's going to be like one of the biggest rappers in the game. And you know, I said it before, he might hit he might hit that 200K mark. He might need some features to help out. But, you know, seems like him and Metro are cool. Get some Metro beats, Cardo. I've been liking the recent music, more trap, but anyway, so essentially the tour has finally been canceled. It is now not just postponed until further notice. Your money is not just hung up like he just rugged you like a new meme coin. If y'all been doing that lately, people been making hella money, but I'm too scared. I don't got big enough balls for that. I'm just actually, I'm not even going to say anything because then people are going to think I'm shilling shit, but you're getting your money back everybody celebrate or be super sad we all saw this coming though this should be no surprise whatsoever like if something gets postponed for over i don't know a month or two and multiple times that is you know that it's just not gonna happen and again we already knew there was no music no new music what was he gonna perform I guess now he could technically perform like five. He has a new track list, a new set list. I mean, he could perform all new five or six songs that he dropped, plus the features on uh, Vultures. And then I think there's that that Venom song with Don Tolliver and Kanye and Ty Dolla Sign performed that. And then on Future and Metro. So like that's almost a track list right there, right? Technically, maybe that's what everybody thought. But if you ask me. I think that he might have just prematurely announced this tour thinking that he was going to actually drop late last year because he did end up dropping a bunch of music, but maybe he just scrapped it and was like, I'll just do these throwaways because none of those songs actually ended up on major streaming platforms. So now that it's getting delayed and more people are dropping. He still has to be on the, the second Kanye album. He's going on those listening parties, right? So that's like a tour in itself. He's gonna be, he already was on Future and Metro. He has to wait for a lot of big artists to drop before he can actually roll out the project that he wants to. What this tells me is that he actually thought he was gonna drop end of last year. But now since it's canceled, it basically says he's not dropping anytime soon because again, I think that uh, Future and Metro are still dropping again and Cardi might be on that one as well, unless Future and Metro said that there are no features or maybe they're just talking about the hidden features. None of them were actually credited on primary artists on Spotify or Apple Music, but then maybe the second project because they're doing like a little two sided album but like two full projects so maybe that one won't have any features i don't know metro was being super vague with the tweets but as i've said it in previous videos i think this just aligns with how i predicted and i'm not saying i'm right i'm just saying my opinion that the album won't actually drop till the end of 2024 or at least like end of summer fall because or maybe maybe summer but like i'm just saying don't expect it anytime soon there's so many things that have to go right before he actually can plan something like this i don't even think he needs to have a tour ready to go by the time that he drops unless he's trying to finesse some sort of like merch bundle ticket sales thing to boost sales which in all reality could be a move just like you know travis scott and taylor swift do so it makes them look bigger than they really are even though they are huge in the first place 
pause but this just shut down any concern and i don't even think anybody thought he was going to drop an album anytime soon i think everybody's given up so that maybe he gave up too and that's why he's just like you know what cancel it or his label said that